Hey there, happy Friday. Meteorologist Pamela Gardner. We're tracking some rain for the weekend. It's going to be a split weekend, though. The rain, the first half, second half looking much drier. I'll time that out in just a minute. The Percy meteor shower peaks tonight and Saturday. More about that in just a second and more of those summer temperatures coming in for the seven day forecast. We'll get close to 90 degrees. So, not for this weekend. It's going to be comfortable and cool for Saturday, Sunday, a little warmer. But the interesting thing that's going on, the Percy meteor shower. This is the dust from Comet Swift Tuttle. It occurs around this time every year. The peak is tonight and Saturday night. Pre-dawn is the best, but we have a couple problems. We have the clouds that may be in place and also the potential for that moonlight to outshine a lot of the meteors. Details on the weather blog if you are interested in reading about that. But look to the north. Meteors will radiate from the constellation Perseus. It's a cool sight to see. Hour by hour this evening, the clouds will be in play here. 73 degrees by 8 o'clock, comfortable, warm, 9 o'clock, 71. Under a mostly cloudy to partly cloudy sky, and overnight lows dip into the mid 60s. It'll be a mild start to the day tomorrow, not going to warm up too much because of that wind coming from the southeast, and we have some rain chances as well as the cloud cover. So highs will be stuck in the mid to upper 70s, and the humidity will be a little worse. Now, in the hour by hour timing through this evening, we're mostly clear to partly cloudy, and then you see the rain chance move in. After Midnight through early Saturday, 7 a.m. Most of the heavy showers will be across the eastern half of New England and the southern half, too. Across the south coast, the Cape, the islands, those scattered showers continue off and on throughout the morning into Saturday afternoon. Now, we'll get a couple breaks with the rain chances, especially farther inland, but Saturday evening we'll be keeping an eye to the sky because as a cold front approaches from the north and west, that could help to trigger some scattered showers and thunderstorm chances. It doesn't look like we'll have any widespread storms or anything like that. Nothing severe, but you might see a strong thunderstorm with gusty wind, the torrential rainfall, some lightning, and of course, uh, yes, some spot heavy rain. So that cold front moves through overnight Saturday into Sunday. That means we're set up for a fantastic day on Sunday afternoon, clearing conditions and lowering humidity. Dew point temperatures today were a little elevated in the low to mid 60s. Tomorrow, those dew points will be in the upper 60s, uncomfortable and sticky. And then once that cold front moves through, we start to lower the humidity levels, low 60s to upper 50s Sunday afternoon. Your weekend looking okay here, 78 degrees on Saturday with those spot shower chances, Sunday dry air and becoming mostly sunny with a high of 85. And then there's the summer heat, mid 80s for Monday and Tuesday. We keep it dry Wednesday, close to 90 degrees.